Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. In this Hearthstone Mercenaries budget bounty guide, I'm going to take a look at the Chromacus encounter in Blackrock Mountain. Even the heroic version of Chromacus can be defeated with a full rare team, so if you're missing that Malfurion and missing some of that power, don't worry, you can still handle it. At the start of the battle, Chromacus is a grey mercenary, but Chromacus will change color each turn randomly. Chromagus has quite a lot of attack, so directly attacking Chromagus is not a good strategy. Chromagus will also summon some adds, and the adds will always be of the same color that Chromagus is on the turn that Chromagus casts the summon. So the difficulty of this particular encounter can vary a lot depending on what color Chromagus is going to be. Like sometimes Chromagus just decides to switch into the opposite color from your mercenaries and then boom boom, yours is going to blast through it. And sometimes it's going to change to the counter color and you're going to be in more trouble. If you have access to good selection of mercenaries, then the nature squad is really strong against Chromagus, just Malfurion, Brukhan, Guff. But Malfurion's healing is really crucial in order to make that work. So what if you don't have Malfurion? What are you going to do then? And here is the comp that I use to take down Chromagus. I have Brukhan with Lightning Rod, I have Cornelius with Shield of Dawn, Cirella with Radiant Wound, Guff with Brambleton Totem, Kuki with Appetizers, and Lady Anaconda with Toxic Venom. Especially when you're climbing the heroic version of Blackrock Mountain, already in the trash pools you kind of would want to have some healing available. And if you don't have Malfurion to keep your nature squad alive, things can get a little bit tricky. Then again, these latest bosses have so much attack that any minion that just attacks is pretty useless. Like, if I were to bring Samuro, Samuro just wouldn't do anything in the boss fight. So that's why I've been using this trio to climb a lot in Blackrock Mountain recently. Rukan, Cornelius, Xerella. Rukan brings the damage, Cornelius protects the others and can attack into fighters, and Xerella reduces the incoming damage. In the Chromagus boss fight I start with the same trio, Cornelius is going to tank Chromagus' initial attack, and then some of these are going to die during the fight. But then I can bring in from the bench, I have Kuki, which is a good revenge killer, I have Guff, especially if I've been able to ramp up nature damage with Brukhan, then that means that Guff can just do crazy amounts of damage. And then I have Anaconda, so if Chromagos happens to be a blue, then Anaconda can come in and deal a lot of damage. And having a party full of nature casters means that I have a good opportunity to get a lot of nature treasures, which then synergizes with everything I have. And this is what it looks like to take down Chromagos with the budget team in action. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the content, please click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and check out my Twitch channel.